Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Freightliner Classic XL for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now last week we actually had a look at this for American Truck Simulator, but I thought this week let's chuck it in for Euro Truck Simulator and see if it's exactly the same or if it's changed. So first of all the cabin is just the XL so there's only one. We have the chassis which is the 6x4. That's only one to choose from. Now the engines, uh, it looks like it's got the same amount of engines here, ranging from the Cummins 370 horsepower, the Caterpillar Series 13 380 horsepower, all the way down to the uh, Caterpillar, the Cat 15 Series 15 600 horsepower, and the ISX 600 horsepower. So there's a few to choose from there now we'll check out those engines as we always do we'll start with the Cummins or the the first engine which is Cummins in this case and then we'll have a look at the Caterpillar the listen to the Caterpillar sounds later so let's go over to transmission uh, we have the Eaton full of 6 speed 10 speed 13 speed and 18 speed so I'm going in 18 speed because I love the Eaton full or 18 speed now for the interior here we have, this is the inside the truck here. So it does look exactly the same as what it should, it, it was, as what it does in ATS. So um, really nice, looks really good. Uh, only one interior to choose from, which is the classic, that's it. Now let's go have a look at the colours, the paint jobs. Uh, now look, we've got beiges, blacks, uh, look there's blues, there's, there's even a blue smurf in here. Um, look, heaps of blues, we got bronzes, greys, forests, greens, uh, more greys, there's uh, oranges, orange, coca-cola, red fire, look, there's, there's silver, there's velvet, there's more, there's yellows, there's custom colour, so you can choose any colour in the rainbow, la la la, there we go, any colour. Now, uh, there's also metallics, and I love to check out to see if this actually works really well, because, you know, sometimes it doesn't. It's getting really rare. See it like there, that's perfect. That's, that's great. It's getting really rare to see it not work now, but um, a long time ago, it was actually quite common to see it not working. Now, uh, there's another one as well. So that is the, um, what's that, Lagoon Metallics, uh, Atomic Lagoon. There's pearl, there is a beautiful, beautiful dark red. Look at that. That is absolutely wonderful. Now, uh, there's, the, uh, there's a few other colors there as well. Now we go down to, there's snow white, no seven dwarfs. Uh, we go down here, and this is a 777. Now, uh, again, just like ATS, it allows you to change the color of the air filter, but that's it with this, so that's interesting. Uh, a channels, some anime. If you're an anime fan, uh, same thing. You can change the, uh, you can, oh sorry, you can change the back there, which is good with this one. Uh, with those rivets there, it looks like she's got a beard, little beard. Doesn't that look weird? Uh, now from here, it's the armed forces. See, and you can only change the air cleaner for that there. Uh, there's another one there for that's another anime character, cat. If you want to change that, you can change the air filter if you want. Christmas, you can change the air filter again. There we go. Uh, classic mask. Now, this one here allows you to change a few of them. A few of the different colors here. So you can actually go... Oh, look, I reckon that one there. And uh, no, let's do, let's do red. And then do that one there in a grey. There we go. That looks pretty cool. That's almost like junior senior colours. Then we have a claw. Only changes the air filter. Curvy. That's uh, that's nice that one. I reckon in a nice blue. Maybe a light blue. And you can change the black as well to a white if you want. I think to separate that it might need something going down there. The pinstripe following that to break it up a bit. Uh, DHL, uh, you can only change the air cleaner. Dragon, that is pretty cool. Flames, 
And yeah, that only changes the air filter. Uh, Gilson Trucking. Air filter again. Joker's Wild. So there's heaps to choose from, guys. Metallic. Now, if you saw the uh, American Truck one, this was actually really nice. In, and I did a really nice paint job with that. It was a silver. Now there is, yeah, so there we go. There is all the colors work there for the metallic. That is great. Ruby, another anime character by the looks. So you can only change the air filter. Truck, uh, sorry, trick. Uh, can't change anything. I don't really want to drive around in a pink truck. Not my thing. Uh, air cleaner again for that one. That's the Umbrella Corporation from Resident Evil. UPS, only change the air filter. Uh, we we is it? That's so you can only change the air filter there. And oh man, there's still more. Hang on, uh, Werner Trucking. You only change the air filter. Wolf, that's pretty cool. The air filter though. Yang, Yin and Yang, Yang. Uh, this one here, you can only change the air filter. But there is a last one there which allows you to change whatever you'd like here. Go crazy. And. There you go, you can change that to any sort of color that you want, really. That's pretty cool. However, however, um, no, I chose that one last time. Let's do... Actually, let's do the wolf. Go the wolf and leave that black. There we go. Now, uh, accessories. There's a ton of accessories here to choose. Um, you get the actual, there's the little uh, headlight deflector just there you see that it changes there's classic I don't know if you can see that properly maybe the black was not the right color actually I think I might change that we'll go Z stripe change that to white and gray with black there we go uh, which probably black is still not a good color on the guard there so and change that there we go right there we go that's it I'm leaving it now leaving it alone not touching it okay um, so there we go there's the classic XL logo there and there's a chrome one which in white now doesn't look good <laughs> but there's heaps to choose from there you go and there's a that was the... Do, 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 do. There we go. There's the chrome one. Let's leave it on the chrome one for now. Uh, now, if your bull bar has got room, you can put on the uh, fog lights. Uh, now, otherwise, you can change the, the bumper. And there's a classic sort of one there. And it allows you to add on there a whole heap of lights to choose from. You can even go crazy and put a strobe on there, like a radiant uh, beacon light. Uh, there's the spotlights, but what else? Uh, so there's a there's a chrome one there. Sort of looks like a Texas rolled that one, and there's a big bull bar there. That's my favourite. And see, it's still got the the uh, fog lights in there, which is cool. Um, you can go along and put a whole heap of lights, but we're not going to do that now. Um, I will, however, put on a couple of spotlights on the front there, just to. Uh, Make it show you how it works sort of thing. All right, there is some more anchor points there. If you don't want to have a bull bar and you just want to have uh, the lights there, you can do so. You can even go and put horns on there or you can go and put like lights on there as well if you wish. Uh, not going to do that. Not going to worry about that there. Now, this here is a little classic emblem, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can go and put on whatever sort of color you want there. I personally like that one the best. I think that is the coolest one. And also that one there. I think that's really cool. But no, I'm going to go that one there. Now, uh, bear with me because all these accessories here, it does make it a bit hard to follow. Okay, so uh, there's a little plastic things on the side there The for the accessories. There's aluminum, paint, glass, and chrome. Let's go chrome. Now, right up here is an emblem. You've got the uh, Freightliner Pinion, Goddess, or the Eagle. Behind the eagle, you get the wind deflector, which is plastic, aluminum, paint, glass, or chrome. I'm going to go glass. Over on the side there is a mirror. So that is the right-hand side mirror. Over there is the left-hand side mirror, believe it or not. 
Now, uh, that is that for the front. Over to the air cleaner. You can go plastic, paint, or chrome. Let's go chrome. It looks wonderful. Uh, over to here. You can put on double. So add double mirrors for your mirrors there, if you can see that. Now, once you've done that, you can actually select a light that goes on there. little lollipop light. Uh, you, uh, there is an option there to change mirrors, but there's only one option for mirrors at the moment. Now, going on the inside quickly, there is cans of Coke. We'll have a look at that inside a bit more. There's also Parrot for your phone. Uh, and then you can go and tint the windows if you want. There's darker tint and there's mirrored. Looks pretty cool. Um, we'll have a look at that again on the inside. There is the dash cam. That there is a GPS. You can go and put whichever one you want on there. There is the CB radio. See how it adds an antenna on the outside as well? That's cool. And then we can go to sun visor and that adds a nice big sun visor or you can just have the standard one, whichever you want. I'm gonna do the big one. Why not? That's the main mirrors. Right, uh, now here is some anchor points for, you can put lights, you can put horns. However, I've noticed the difference between Euro trucks and American trucks is in Euro trucks, these have doubled up. So I don't know, um, if Solaris is aware of that, but they have, mate. So uh, there you go, just so you know. Now, uh, there's those anchor points again. And here you can have some chrome spotlights. And probably they'll work when we go on the outside. Interior light, choose whichever color you want. Go orange, why not? On the back there, this is the color of the interior. Okay, so we'll look through, and as you, you can see there, there's a cream, or beige, black, blue, brown, red. I'm going to go beige with this truck. Beige. Um, okay, now, uh, down to the tanks. You can go aluminum, painted, or chrome. Let's go chrome. I love the chrome. Chrome on these trucks is so hot. Steps on the back there, if we spin around, you can see it a bit better. There's the different steps you can get. I'm going to put that one on there. It's like a little toolbox as well as a step. Now, um, over to here is the actual fender. So you can go plastic, aluminum, paint, uh, classic from uh, chromes, classic fenders chromed, paint, uh, and there is custom fenders chromed. Uh, let's let's just go the classic fenders chrome. Why not? Now uh, for the wheels, while we're here, we have tires, and you can go and choose whichever sort of tires you would like. So uh, let's go Goodyear. And for the rims, you can go and customize whichever rims you want if you have the DLC which is what I have here, so you can actually go through and use that. I'm glad it works with that, I really am. Chrome nuts, uh, gotta paint your nuts or chrome your nuts. And there's Freightliner there, you can have the Freightliner emblem, or you can just take it off and have the underside there. So I'm just gonna leave the Freightliner emblem on there. Now for here, we need to put on Goodyear's because if it saves you once, it's a good year. Um, I'm going to go standard on the back. Chrome your nuts. And then we have the Freightliner logo on there. Good year. Standard. Standard chrome. Chrome your nuts. And that's it. Just leave that there. Right. Now, spinning around. Spinning around. There is the flaps at the back, and we need to see those. So you get to choose the uh, classic XL, Freightliner, which is a paint badge, or the chrome badge. Let's go the chrome. Uh, no, let's go that one there, that badge. Why not? Do something different. Now for the top of the mud flaps here, you've got plastic, aluminum, paint, or chrome. I'm going to paint that. No, I think that chrome is going to look that a lot better with that one. Last minute change of heart there. Now up the very top here is you can go smoke. 
in here you can put some little emblems, figurines, signs, and my favorite one here, which is a warning sign. It says Junior Senior. It says, sorry, I'm a Junior Senior fan. I think if you've been watching um, watching my uh, shows before, you'd know that that's the, I've seen that one a fair few now in a couple of Solaris' mods, so he's going crazy with it. Um, let's see. Garfield. Put Garfield in the window. And spinning around here. What else do we have? Really trying hard not to miss anything. Uh, then we have up the back there, we are the wings. So you got plastic, aluminum, and chrome. Let's go chrome. That is the... Oh, that's the steps, sorry. Yep, there's the tanks. That is the wings. There is there. That is that. Do de 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 da do 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 da ba da ba ba ba. There we go. All right, now let's go on the inside and check it out. So starting from left to right, here is that's the mirrors, double mirrors, or there's you put your light on there. Just there you can put a GPS if you win or one or a computer, whichever. There's the sign there, junior senior sign. There's your glass. So I'll show you the difference with the glass on the inside. See how it changes it dramatically. And there is the mirror. So um, makes it interesting, really does. Now there's the there's the little reflectors and there's the hood ornament. That is the computer or the GPS or whatever you want. Another sign, there's some minions we put on there. There is a mirror, dash cam. Uh, there's some, what else can we put there? Let's put, uh, there we go. It says my other ride is my, oh, sorry, my other toy is, and it's got a picture of a pair of boobs there. Um, and we can go put American flag there. There's no Australian flags there, so uh, junior senior hat you can go and put there. We'll put the um, we'll put the Arizona map on there. Uh, there's the parrot. Now uh, over here you can go and put on magazines. There is chips packets of chips then we can go backgammon there's heaps and heaps of toys and then there's people you can put in here now normally i put megan in here but i think today i'm going to put mary in there g'day mary how's it going mary mary quite contrary how does your garden grow uh now spinning around this is the back inside the back here if I can I can't spin it around anymore for some reason. Can't spin it back. So I'm that looks really cool. I like this. I like how it's done. I think it's a very good job. That's the bull bar, there's the coke, there's the, the front grill. Down there is on the floor. You can go and put beer, you can go and put magazines, uh, whatever you want. See magazines, there's chips, there's snacks, there's a sleeping bag, there's water, there's Lucille, there is a hat, there's crowbars, there's du duffel bags, there's maps, uh, portable bags, there's backgammon, there's uh, knitting supplies, fire extinguishers, first aid kits, safety vest. Man, there is heaps of stuff in here. Toolbox, a gun, a Colt 45. Want to make sure it's not loaded. Uh, a cooler box black. And a guitar. Let's put the cooler box in there. Now, um, I'm going to go and change that Arizona map. Because I'm going to go and put the junior senior hat in there. I thought it was somewhere else, but it's not. See, there's Mario. There's heaps of toys to play with in here. Volkswagens. iPhones. You name it, it's in there. Oh, it's not there now, is it? Oh, there it is there. Junior, senior hat. See, I got my own hat in the truck. Awesome. I love it. And there's the mirrors over there. There's Garfield. Right, let's confirm this. And let's see how long it takes to load. There it is. Doesn't it look beautiful? Let's go trade in on the last mod. And uh, do you really... Uh, hang on, no. I don't want to. I would like to... I would like to go 
purchase because I think I just realized I think there's something there that I've gone and done I stuffed up I don't want to there we go we'll park that in that spot no not that spot that spot there there we go okay thank you beep 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 beep, beep. there we go and let's see how long it takes to load does it take long at all no it didn't take long so that's cool looks very nice the skin there is a little bit grainy though could have used the higher resolution on that skin right that's I mean the model itself is absolutely beautiful it really is nice look at it look at how nice it is that is wonderful all right well oh track IR hasn't picked up again let's start up the engine and we'll jump on the outside and uh, start her up see that sounds pretty damn cool that does I like that check the lights there's one lot of lights there's two there's high beams wow that is high beams all right uh, the horn right that's the horn the standard horn wipers yep there's two speeds there for the wipers and that's it switches off now uh, indicators I think that's working yeah that one's working there it is there let's try that other side again yeah there it is that's working all right so that's cool let's go on the inside here uh, test the dash yep there's the computer in kilometers all right now uh, what else we need to test the wipers in here I like how the you got the the wiper uh, switch switches up that it switches up again that's cool right now Mary how are you that's cool I like this I like it and there's an orange light as well that's pretty cool right let's go take it for a drive and see how it runs this is um, generally straight away you can tell if the trucks gonna be good or not man grinding gears there it um it's good but it doesn't feel the same as what it does in American trucks it is very different whoops it's um look I hate to say this Solaris but it's actually feels a little bit more clunky there's the banana break um, I think the American truck version of this is a lot smoother uh, it runs a lot better it seems to just feel a lot better with the actual steering um, having said that though it is an American truck and it's meant to run in America so oops that was me that was my fault sorry but you'd think it would drive the same as well it doesn't it just feels oops there we go ah I right, look I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble driving unfortunately all right let's try this again see if I can go down here now all right oh look I never noticed that on that sign there I have to have a look at that it says you vote weekly drive vote for the weekly drive does it say vote yes weekly drive <laughs> That is funny. 
Oops, no, we, next one. That is funny. I have never seen that before. I've never seen that. You vote yes, weekly drive. That is funny. <laughs> Solaris is, uh, it looks like he's a big junior senior fan because um, I did not see that before that he's put that in there. That is really cool. I think that's very funny indeed. Oh man, more junior senior stuff. That's awesome. All right, so let's jump in and we will uh, change the engine. I really, really want to try this other engine and I want to see if I can get it driving a bit better because I'm not sure if it's me or if it's the truck at the moment. So let's start this one up. So there you go, that's the cat engine. And we heard the uh, Cummins before, so uh, that's really cool, I like that. Just gonna go back in for a second, upgrade, and go to the interior, interior. And I wanna see that sign. It says, warning sign, weekly drive. <laughs> see, I didn't see that, vote yes for the weekly drive. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's funny. See, I, I like that. That's very good sense of humor. Very good indeed. All right. Okay, so look, let's go take this for a little bit more of a drive because it's very strange that, you know, it feels so different in the actual, in American, uh, American trucks versus Euro trucks. Is it that I'm getting so used to American trucks that it feels funny? Well, no. Other trucks, in I drive American uh, American trucks and Euro trucks all the time, so it's not that. Right, come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. It's, it's, it's different. I think, no, we're turning this way. I think I was expecting it to be exactly the same. And I think that's what it is. Uh, it's, it is different. It feels different as in the steering is either, I think it's more touchy. I'm not sure. The steering just feels a little bit different in this than what it does in American, sim, American Truck Simulator. Um, the truck also is revving a lot, so the gear range is different as well, it seems. So this feels like first. That looks like, this feels like seventh. It's, see that feels like 13. about right there whoa, 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 whoa we're gonna hit the hit the wall it's these first gears here it's these first gears right here that that just feeling a little bit abnormal to me and I'm not sure what it is I'm not sure what it is but um, look other than that this is a really really good mod and look, it's up to you guys if you like it, if you'd like to see it in the weekly drive. Um, if you if you vote, uh, sorry, if you actually read the sign there, which Solaris has put in there saying you uh, vote, vote for the weekly drive, then uh, yeah, give it a go. <laughs> I like that, I like that Solaris. I, I didn't see that before mate, but I, I saw it now, it's good. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for me today, guys. Look, if this is the first time that you've actually seen Junior Senior or you've seen me, uh, Junior Senior Gaming, then uh, be sure to head on over to 
be sure to head on over to YouTube and check out the actual channel. There's a whole heap of American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, and heaps of other trucking videos there as well. Um, and there's also other games like Grand Theft Auto and, you know, there's heaps of games. Uh, Rocket League, you name it. Tons. There's over 1,100 games to choose from, guys. So there's heaps to watch. But if you would like to see this on the weekly drive, then get in there and vote now and say, yes, I would like to see this in the weekly drive. And if you don't want to see this in the weekly drive, then say, no, I would not like to see this in the weekly drive. This, for me, I would like to see this in the weekly drive. I think it's definitely worth the weekly drive. Um, we saw it in American trucks and it only just missed out by a fraction of winning it did get it got beaten by the Peterbilt 389 only just so um, yeah hope, let's see if it'll get it in Euro trucks not sure anyway guys keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and I'm 1010 on the side and remember game on thanks for watching youtubers if you'd like to see more videos then click on the links beside just over here we're doing a mod review for american truck simulator and it's the peterbilt 387 just down there it's the peterbilt 579 and we're doing this for youtube live if you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe then click on the links below thanks again for watching youtubers and remember game on